Hi, in this video lecture, let's discuss about the construction of D flip flop using master slave configuration. Here you can see there are two D latches. The first one is called the master, the second one is called the slave. The external D input is connected to the master, and the, there is a clock which enables the master D latch and the negation of the clock is going to enable the slave D latch. And the output of the master is connected to the input of the slave D latch. And this is the output of the flip flop that is observed by the user. So this Q represents the state of the flip flop and this is our external input. Now when you give D is equal to 1, we are supposed to get Q is equal to 1 and when D is set to 0, we are supposed to get Q to be 0. Let us see how this happens. Now, assume that Q has some value, say 0, and we are trying to set the circuit, that is Q is equal to 1, and therefore we supply D is equal to 1 here. Now, when clock is 0, okay, only this is enabled. So, when clock goes from 0 to 1, when clock goes from 0 to 1, that is when as soon as it reaches 1, this input is accepted by the D latch and this Y will become 1. And what about the external output that we observe? It still remains in 0. We are unable to observe the change in the input at the output. Only the master slave has reacted to the input and y has become 0 when clock reaches 1. When the clock goes from 1 to 0, the master flip flop or the master D latch is disabled and the slave latch will be enabled. That is after the clock reaches 0 from 1, if there is any change in the external input, that will not be affecting the master D latch. And since clock has become 0, this slave flip flop will be enabled and this input Y is accepted by the slave and this will get reflected in the output Q and any change in the input will not get this slave flip flop change it contents and once again when the clock goes from 0 to 1 if there is any change in the input that will be accepted by the master and when the clock goes from 1 to 0 the changes made in the master's master latch will be available in Y and that will get accepted by the D latch and so on. How many gates will be required to construct this uh, flip flop? There are two D latches. Each D latch is going to use four NAND gates and one NOT gate. So totally five gates are used for each of this D latch. So totally 10 gates will be required for the construction of D flip flop using master slave configuration. 